What you'll need for this is an audio clip, and this is the one I'll be using for this tutorial. You can find the link for it in the description. First thing we need to do is right click on the hierarchy, go to UI, and add a button. Add a component and type in click sound to create a new script. Open up the script and right above the class in brackets, add require component type of button to make sure that there's a button attached. Then create a public audio clip named sound. This is where you'll pass in the sound you want the button to make. After that, add a private button named button with a git accessor that returns the button component on the game object. Then add a private audio source, also with a git accessor, that returns the audio source component on the game object. In the start function, add an audio source component to the game object. And now that the game object has an audio source, we can call the source variable that we created. So I'm going to call it in order to set its clip to sound and to make sure it doesn't play on awake. That's all we need for this tutorial, but this is where you would initialize any other settings on the audio source. You won't need the update function for this example, so get rid of it and make a void function play sound. Inside, say source dot play one shot and pass in sound. And the last thing we need to do is make sure the function gets called when the button is clicked. So to do that, say button dot on click dot add listener, create a set of parentheses followed by an equal sign and a greater than sign. And then here is where you'd put the function you wish to be called, which in this case is play sound. Back in Unity, once the code compiles, you should see an audio clip field pop up. Just drag in the audio clip, and that's it. 